Hello viewers and welcome to Easy English Grammar class. Today is the fourth lecture and today's lecture we will discuss about concrete noun, collective noun and compound noun. In the previous lecture we have discussed about noun and its types. So today's lecture is about the remaining part of noun types. So let's take start. Concrete noun. What is concrete noun? The very first thing is that concrete noun is the opposite of abstract noun. I have told you in the uh, abstract noun that abstract noun is a noun to which a human cannot apply five senses. So concrete noun is the opposite of abstract noun. So it means that a concrete noun will be a noun to which a human can apply a uh, five senses. What are five senses? I have told you the previous lecture as well and let me tell you again. Five senses are smell, touch, taste, hear and sight. So if concrete noun is the opposite of abstract noun and concrete noun is something to which we can apply five senses. By we I mean human beings. So what will be the definition of a concrete noun? Concrete nouns are people, places and things to which a human can apply five senses concrete noun so those people are those places are those things which a human can see which a human can touch which a human can test which a human can hear which a human can see then it will be considered as a concrete noun for example book you see book you test book you touch book as well and often time you smell book as well chair table mobile cup etc so a concrete noun will be that noun to which we can apply all these five senses or one or two senses no problem if it is uh, it will not be the case that if uh, you say that uh, there are some noun concrete noun to which we can't apply all these five senses no problem if one or two senses are applied then it's okay no problem for example let uh, uh, here here we have that cat is under the table so the table here is a concrete noun Ali likes apple. Apple is a concrete noun because we can smell, taste and touch. Also see it. Dear viewers, this is the very important part of our discussion. Collective or group noun. It is important in a sense that often times when a collective noun comes then we are confused in a sense that it will either followed by a single noun or a plural noun for example if there comes a team in a sentence there we are confused that team is a collection it is a collection of 11 players uh, for, let's say, uh, an army army is a collection of uh, soldiers and fleet is a collection of ships and vessels so it will either followed by a singular noun or a plural noun so it will confuse us Stay with me and I will try to remit your confusion. So what is a collective noun? A collective noun is a noun which refers to a collection or numbers or groups of person or things taken together and spoken of as one whole. This is, the, this is the very easy definition of a collective noun. So a noun, the important thing is a noun which refers to a collection. A collection means when we combine something, there will be a combination, there will be a group. So if there is a group and, and when we talk, about that group and we take that group as one whole then it will be a collective noun if there is a collection in and we, and when we talk about of that collection as one whole and when we take it as one whole then that collection will be known as a collective noun for example crowd mob team team is the combination of 11 players flock herd herd of cattle different cattle combined together make a herd army Army is a combination of a soldiers, fleet, combination of a vessels or ships, jewelry, nation, and people, people are nation, police, etc. So keep in mind the very important note that a collective noun will always be followed by a singular noun. I am repeating this point that a collective noun will always be followed by a singular noun. For example, our team is best team is here a collective noun followed by the verb is is a singular in the second example you will say that sir what about the second example our team are wearing green shirts so here team is also a collective noun then why it is followed by r r is a 
plural verb then why stay with me i will remit the confusion look on one angle the first example is correct our team is best because i have told you that it will be followed by a singular verb so in this case the first example is correct so what about the second example our team are wearing green shirts what about this example why it comes look here i have written two important notes the first note in the yellow is when reference is meant to the whole group then a collective noun will be singular and will be followed by a singular verb when we refer to the whole group then that collective noun will be considered as a singular and a singular noun is followed by a singular verb look to the first example team by team we here refer to the whole team to the whole 11 player so that's why when we refer to the whole group then that collective noun will be singular and will be followed by a singular verb so here in the first example we refer to the whole team that's why it is considered as a singular and that's why followed by a singular verb is let's take the second example our team are wearing green shirts come to the second note in the blue when reference is meant to each member of the group then a collective noun will be plural and will take or will be followed by plural verb here when we refer to each member of the group each individual in the group then that collective noun will be plural and that will take a plural verb for example in the second example when i say our team are wearing green shirts our team are wearing green shirts so it mean that the whole team the each member not the whole team the each member in the first example it is meant as the whole team in the second example each member and according to the second rule in the blue when reference is to each member then that collective noun will be considered as a plural and it will take a plural verb so that's why in the second example our team are wearing green shirts in the second example our team are wearing green shirts so that's why our team is followed by a plural verb the last part of our today's lecture is about a compound noun and after that we will start a new uh, lecture in the new lecture we will discuss about the rest of the parts of speech so here today we will discuss in the last lecture about compound noun so compound nouns are formed by combining two nouns when two nouns combine together then a noun which will occur is known as a compound noun for example noun plus noun equal to compound noun for example egg plus plant egg is also a noun plant is also a noun from the combination of that a new word will occur a new noun will occur known as compound noun egg plant foot plus ball football foot is also a noun ball is also a noun these two nouns compound together and a new noun occur known as a compound noun football maid plus servant maid servant inshallah in the next lecture we will discuss the rest of the parts of speech like pronoun adjective and etc stay with me like and subscribe the channel and also your comments will be appreciated thank you